Good morning, Firebird Nation. Today is Friday, April 7th of 2022. It's a gloomy day here on the Holy Ghost Prep Campus. I'm David Chapansky. And I'm Santino DeRose. Welcome to Firebird's Morning News. Once again, as kind of been the tradition, we do have a lot to get to today, Santino. But we're coming up on our spring break number two, so Yeah, I exciting. know. Prom next week. It's a lot yeah. of good stuff coming up. I'm excited. And the underclassmen dance, which we'll get to in a little bit. So, All right, let's recap some recent events here on campus. We'll start with sports. Uh, first, you want to talk a little bit about tennis? Uh, tennis is doing really good. I think we're five and two. Uh, lacrosse four and two. Um, baseball is doing great with three and one. Um, it's a lot of good things all around. And I actually do want to mention that I know I don't know how I'll be able to talk about it, but the hockey guys, a large percentage of the ghost team was plays for the Blazers, and they went to nationals and they played really, really good. I had to shout them out. Uh, they did a great job. Uh, it's all around great stuff for sports. Yeah, they got second in the national championship. Yeah, they right? did. It was really, really good. Uh, was, that's tough stuff to get to. You have to get to, like, districts and national. It's, yeah. it's really hard. I can imagine. So we have, already have some games that were supposed to be on campus today. They're canceled. Baseball game is canceled. Tennis has canceled their match, which not technically on campus, but, you know, still. You mentioned it. It is a <laughs> rainy, gloomy day. Yeah. It's... It is, but we have to get through the bad weather to get to the good weather. Yes, so we we'll do. So we'll get there eventually. All right, so a couple other announcements. Uh, Music March Madness. We had the winner, Santino, the other day. We voted at morning meeting, and the winner is? Bohemian Rhapsody. And it's and a repeat. It's actually a repeat, yeah. which I, I great for the song. I love the song, but to see it two years in a row, I think next year, take it out, because it's obviously a winner. It's such a good yeah, song. I think we have to get a new Mama. champion. Just killed him. No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll get a we'll get a new, hopefully new group next year of songs. Yeah. All right. And then also Firebird's Morning News Auditions. We are getting our finalists uh, together for who's gonna take over for Santino and I when we leave, and we'll have those results coming out either tomorrow or next week. So that's crazy. Exciting things. Uh, thank you to Rob and Profe and the whole crew getting everything together with that. Mr. Jacobs. All right, next thing we have here. Uh, is SJ Elections. It's another big thing going on on campus. I actually got, because uh, I'm the team decorator, I decorated a lot of uh, posters <laughs> around. We got uh, Nick uh, Corelli's over there, Nod. Um, we got Mike Holt, AJ, and Brandon Fay. All great guys. Um, all deserve a good vote, and I'd love to see. They're working really hard. I mean, we were uh, listening yesterday about the, uh, the little debate, and everyone yeah. did a great job. Yeah, so the slideshows were yesterday. There will be a debate tomorrow. It's supposed to be today at break, but a lot of stuff going on at break today. So uh, tomorrow will be the debate, uh, and there will be more information about that. Either Miss Doherty or Miss Updike will have more stuff about that. But, yeah, so voting will start tomorrow, though, regardless. Uh, and then it will close on Monday, and we'll announce the winner. So there's nine candidates, three vice presidents, six president candidates. And make sure to vote. Get your votes in. Um, and we'll announce the winner on Monday. Well, not we, but we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll so, talk about the winner, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll talk about it. All right. We have our only guest for today, really. Usually we have a, a wide kind of crew here, but it means the same. Miss Charmella, come on, here Ms. we go. Miss Charmella. So Miss Charmella is, well, do you want to give your official title to everybody? Uh, yeah, so I'm the drama coordinator. <laughs> okay. uh, and for this show, I'm the director. Okay. And uh, yeah, I guess you would call that the producer too. Yeah. So just, you know, all those things. So Spring Musical is coming up. Yes, We're all is. excited. Get your tickets. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about kind of the production that's going on sure, behind sure. that? And everything singing in the rain coming up. As it starts to rain very heavily, right, we, actually. We, we work yeah, for marketing actually. purposes, <laughs> yes. So we're doing Singing in the Rain. Mm -hmm. uh, it opens on April 21st, okay. and it runs through the 24th. We have five shows. Uh, tickets are available online, so you can see the QR code on any of the posters. I think we have a poster up here. Uh, so you can just kind of scan that in. Somewhere. Right here. Right, right there. there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Got to find it. Uh, so we're really excited. This is our first big musical post-COVID. We had one last year, uh, but it was much smaller, much more pared down, so we're kind of back at it again. Uh, we have girls from Nazareth Academy. We have one girl on the crew from Ben Salem High School. Uh, we also have four incoming freshmen who are part of the oh, cast as well. Look at that. Uh, we've been working. Mr. Hallahan is doing music. Uh, Mr. Profi is our choreographer. <laughs> and uh, we have um, Andy Theodora, who some of our kids know from the summer camp, who is doing all of our tech. So they've been working really hard from December onward. I mean, everyone had to learn to tap dance. <laughs> wow. So that has been a process. We've been having a blast with it. It's going to be a great show. Uh, there's a lot going into it. Uh, we've been filming movies to show during the actual musical. And yeah, it, it's a good time. So come on out, uh, support your friends, uh, and see a good show on campus. Uh, 
Thursday through Sunday. So where can they follow, like, in kind of the updates? I know that you guys have an Instagram page. You want to tell everybody where they can yes, follow? Yes, we have um, an HGP drama Instagram page. We have an HGP theater uh, Twitter page. Instagram's a little bit more updated than the Twitter. Uh, we'll probably be doing some Instagram takeovers backstage if you oh. want to watch those as well. Wow, So you can, great. You can kind of see what's happening uh, while you're sitting in the audience, the, the shenanigans happening backstage. And, and what's great, too, is just the fact that there are so many times that you can go to the show. Like, I know on Saturday, like, you have 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock. So even if you can't make it for one of those shows, you can still, uh, you know, come to the other one and throughout the rest of the week, too. Yeah, so, so we often will see a lot of students on the Thursdays and Friday shows because you can stay after school. Mm -hmm. Those are at 7. Uh, as you said, the Saturdays are at 2 and at 8, and then Sunday is at 2. So you do have a wide variety of options. Great. That's awesome. I didn't know you were talking about people that were helping out. I'm so used to hearing, like, Father Chris on the set designer. I know. And it's just crazy not hearing him. He, yeah. I think he's going to do mass for us between the two Saturday shows. So he usually oh. stops by. He always comes to see it, but we, we will, we'll put him to work. Okay, good. That's I know. great. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's fantastic. Father right. Chris was my... Uh, Intro to drama teacher freshman year, so I know he's. We were in the same class. Yeah, really. We are. Yeah. I don't remember this. <laughs> too far, too far back. Yeah, too many years ago. Four <laughs> years ago. What's what's four years? All right. So next up is our Firebird Frenzy. Okay. So we're gonna introduce it, I guess, to everybody. Is uh, well, it's been going on for a long time. But if you don't know the rule, sixty seconds of this or that question. Sometimes the occasional like favorite subject in school. We'll throw in some favorite things in there. Santino and I will fire them off. Mr. Goulet, our producer for today. With the 60 second timer. Here we go, Ms. Charmella Santino. You ready? I am. Right, here ready. we go. Okay. What is your favorite musical? Ah, uh, Les Mis. Oh, okay. That's a great one. Yeah, I love Les Mis. <laughs> favorite color? Uh, purple. Red or blue? Blue. Same colors. Blue? Mm -hmm. You're a breakfast or dinner kind of person? Dinner. Hot or cold showers? Hot. Okay. And everyone's just hot. Favorite, like, go to sandwich kind of order? Um, oh, Italian hoagie. Oh, okay. If you could vote for one student presidential <laughs> candidate, who would you vote for? That is unfair. <laughs> We're very lucky with the candidates we have, and we would be good with any of them. Water ice or pretzels? Oh, oh pretzels. Okay. Can That's I put the pretzels in the water ice, though? Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> is that I mean, an you can do whatever you want. We're not, we're not judging you. Coffee or no coffee? Uh, coffee. Coffee? Coffee. As much coffee as possible. Okay. <laughs> Favorite fruit? Oh, fruit. Uh, orange. Orange. Ooh, I love oranges myself. Orange. So that's Favorite good. place to visit on vacation? Uh, I love going to Topsail Island, North Carolina. Okay. I love it. It's just completely silent. There's like not much going on. All you can do is sit on the beach. Oh, that's great. And we'll end it with the favorite show or musical that you were a part of here so far at Ghost. Oh, my goodness. I love all of the shows we do here. I'm going to have to say Newsies was probably my okay. favorite. Okay. <laughs> that was Newsies. a really good one. That was one. a really good one. Yes, but we're, we, we, are, we are up. This one is possibly going to... Unseat it. We'll see how it Top goes. Top it. All right. Yes. Well, we're looking forward to it. Thank you, Miss C. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Carmella. So we're moving on time today, Santino. The schedule is perfect. We're, we're moving right along. All right. So before we get to our trivia question, we uh, do want to update everybody. A few, I don't know how many shows ago, four or five days ago. Days ago. What am I saying? Weeks ago. Shows ago. So yeah, weeks. We had Miss Rittmeyer come on and talk about the Ukraine crisis and how people can get involved if you would like to donate. So I know that Father Dan has kind of been updating the Schoology pages uh, weekly with the amount of money that we've raised. I know it's over $1,000. I'm not sure what the exact number. I probably should have pulled that up. But regardless, it's a lot of money, which is fantastic. Um, but also, there was an on-campus food sale. Yeah, the churros. They ran out of churros like lickety split. I was I was in line for them. They're like no churros. I almost my heart was broken. I almost and, cried. And I also will say that the uh, the fundraising club has done a great job. And we're kind of it, the fundraising club just kind of like started, as far as I know. But it's great They're because doing a great job. They help all the other clubs with kind of fundraising because you know clubs have some stuff to do sometimes. But they kind of help kind of push certain things, initiatives, and to. You know, get some money, raise money for great causes. So that's fantastic. So shout out uh, to everyone involved in that. Uh, and there will be a dress down day tomorrow. It's five dollars uh, for Ukraine awareness. Uh, so all the money will go towards kind of what Father Dan has been doing with collecting. Make sure to wear your Phillies jerseys for opening day. Um, also, you know, we do want to kind of bring light to the news that's come out of Ukraine uh, with you know the horrible scenes that we've seen. Uh, and we stand uh, with the Ukrainian people. Um, and yeah, so that's what we'll say about that. So, but yeah, Ukraine awareness tomorrow. Dress down day, please support, goes to a great cause. Uh, so yeah. All right. Let's get to the trivia question. Time we've all been waiting for, right? Do you have the question? I do. It's on the 
the yellow piece of paper. You All said right. trivia question. I was like, oh my god, I didn't think of a trivia question. <laughs> well, that's why we missed a goulet. So <laughs> perfect. All right, so here we go, everybody. You have 90 seconds to answer. Well, first I'll say the prize for today, because we have plenty of time. So we'll talk What's about the, the prize. prize. All right, so it's wrapped up in this napkin. I'm looking at it. I thought that goulet. was trash. It's <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was trash. It looked I like mean, a straw in a napkin. Some may consider it to be trash. So I'm going to take it out. Can I? All right. Yeah, Mr. Goulet gives me the okay. So this is a red pen, okay, that Mr. Goulet has used to grade freshman papers, right? And senior papers are paper. Okay, freshman and senior papers. There is no more ink in it. No more ink. So technically, I guess it could be trash. But you're like, well, why would we give this away? Well, Mr. Goulet's famous thing, grading all the papers, getting rid of pens uh, quickly, probably within one person's paper. So that's why we have it here to give away to people here. So yeah, we've this is a great prize. Has I'm this you. pen ever give out 100? It's never <laughs> given out 100. So like this pen should go in the trash. Yeah, so, but no, <laughs> it, never gave it out shouldn't out. go in the trash. We're gonna give this away. All right, anyway, here's the question. So in honor of opening day, in 1993, the Philadelphia, or the 1993 Philadelphia Phillies won the National League pennant. To open that season, who did the Phils defeat on opening day? I will give everybody a hint because I needed a hint getting this. They are a Southern team. National League team, Southern team, <coughs> excuse me, well, 90 seconds, we'll give away the wonderful pen uh, for today. All right, uh, a couple other quick announcements. We have an, the underclassmen dance coming up on April 29th. Uh, we ask that you please get your tickets if you're interested in going so that we can kind of finalize plans for that if it is for sure happening. Like, we want it to happen, but we're yeah. just kind of making sure, at least it's from the SGA uh, coordinators, Ms. Updike and Ms. Doherty. And also, we'll have Second Friday uh, tomorrow. Oh, yeah. The Spiritons are going to be singing. Uh, everyone come out for them. They're, they're so much fun. Yeah, Dr. Pollock is not with us, but the Spiritons are still in our hearts. So it's uh, <laughs> great to come on out and support them in the art studio. Yeah. So especially if you're an underclassman, get out to that tomorrow. It's a really great thing and a great tradition. So, all right, Mr. Glay is writing down the winner, it appears. Let's see. Let's see. Who we can get could it. be all the right, winner? All right, he's taking some time to write it. It's going to be a Let's long name, probably. Freshman Cora Mo with the winner. All right, so that's great. Let me. Um, congrats. Yeah, congrats. We'll clap. You have won the pen that never gave somebody 100. All right, so I'm pulling up our next segment. Here we go. So we'll end the show as we always do, Santino. Miss Carmine, what letter day is it? D-Day. D-Day. That's a good, that's a good, uh. That was a day. really, that was a good day. Yeah, D-Day. It's on H-Day, so Mr. Goulet is happy. Happy camper. All right, so that's the way we'll end it here. Uh, enjoy opening day, everybody, tomorrow for all the baseball fans out there. Um, enjoy kind of everything going on on campus. Prom coming up, as you said. Spring break coming up. It's the Spiritan Immersion Trip. Yeah. Which will be for freshmen, sophomore, and some juniors uh, next week. So exciting things happening. So Very exciting stuff. I mean, this was a quick episode. Uh, just recap, I guess. Follow us on Instagram at HGPTV. There's no one now, is there? There is no one. No one. So just Rob HGPTV. did a great job of fixing that. So there's a bar at the bottom of your screen, and it should say the Instagram. So And also don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube and uh, help our followers grow. So I'm Santino DeRuz. And I'm David Chapansky. Have a great day, everybody. Go Firebirds. And hopefully this rain can stop pretty t pretty soon. So and support the musical too. Don't forget about that. Singing bye -bye, in the everybody. rain.